In this video, I'm going to show you a way that you can get double A-gap pressure right through the middle of the defense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. As you can see right here, we're getting J.J. Watt and our linebacker through the A-gap. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss any of these important videos. And this nickel triple defense is so freaking fun to run, and I'm super excited to share this video with you. This is a very specific play setup and play design, but... If you call this at the right time, you're going to get an incredible pressure that is going to allow you to get more stops in Madden 22. Now, if you want to get the full nickel triple defensive ebook, there's a link in the description below. You can get that full guide for just 15 bucks. The play we're using in this video is the nickel blitz three um, out of the nickel triple formation. And all we're going to do to set this up, it's actually only two adjustments, which is really, really cool. We're just going to pinch our linebackers and we're going to QB contain. That's it. That's all we're going to do. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see we're going to get double A-gap nano blitzes right down Main Street, just like that every single time. Again, we're just pinching our linebackers, and we're going to QB contain. As you see, it gives this blitz from depth look that I absolutely love out of the triple. And if the if the nose tackle does not come in, as you saw right there, like he kind of got a little bit uh, caught up. If the nose tackle does not come in, that's fine. You're going to get instant pressure from someone. You're either going to get the linebacker coming through the opposite A gap, as you saw right there, or as you just saw, you could get this uh, edge guy coming from this other side. Now, if you move your linebacker just a little bit to the right, right there, I moved him a little bit too much, but if you move your linebacker that you're using, if you move him just a little bit down into the right and hold left trigger, it's going to make the consistency from this blitz absolutely impossible for them to stop. This blitz is so unique. It's so, um, it's just so glitchy, guys. It really is. It, there's not a lot of glitchy, like, things, I would say, in Madden. But this right here is truly a glitchy defense. The way that it works, the way that it functions, the way that it gets pressure uh, is really based on, you know, this idea that you're going to blitz from depth, which I think is super, super cool. As you see, um, every time we snap the ball, we're kind of getting different pressure uh, pretty much every single time. And again, the deeper you are, the better in my opinion. So as you see right there, there's the contain rush lo looping right through the middle. Now, let me show you how this works if they block a running back real quick. So again, we're just going to run that same setup. Now they're going to block a running back. And let me just show you what it looks like. You see here, we get this nice B-gap rush um, oftentimes. And again, this is one of those things where I'm saying... It, somebody's coming in. It may be a different person, but somebody is going to come in, the, in into the defense. As you saw right there, we got uh, a gap pressure. Now, where I say this is a very glitchy defense is because the running because it's so glitchy, the running back doesn't really know who to pick up. He really doesn't know who to pick up. So you're going to find that even if they block a running back, you're going to get some pressure at your opponent. Um, it doesn't really matter what they do. So again, just pinch. And then as you can see right here, now we're getting, I mean, four people converging at the same time at the quarterback. Super effective. And again, the setup is really simple. Pinch your linebackers. That's it. And contain. Now, there are ways that we can make it more complicated. Let me show you another version of this blitz. Uh, we can pinch our linebackers, and then we can show blitz. Now, the one problem with this, I don't think this is as consistent, um, because as you see, it widens the blitz angles out. It widens the blitz angles out, and to me, it's not as consistent um, as it was. So if you, if you want to do this, make sure to pinch this guy back in. You ideally want, you want this guy like right there. That's really where it's going to be the sweet spot of this. And as you see right there, even when I manually moved him, it doesn't, you see what I'm saying? So I would just pinch the linebackers um, and let it do what it's going to do. Now, let me show you what happens uh, if your opponent blocks a tight end. So if your opponent blocks a tight end, you're going to get this looping pressure around the tight end side, which I think is one of makes, what makes this blitz so unique is it is a five-man pressure that will come in whether they block a running back, they block a tight end, or they don't block anybody. You're going to get somebody clean at this and... Real quick, another thing that you could do with this if you wanted to uh, guarantee your pressure is you could use this guy, and i just show you what happens against a delay fade. Uh, against a delay fade, oftentimes you get this gap pressure right here. If you use her that safety and bring him down over the tight end, that's what's going to happen. Um, the other thing that I wanted to kind of hit on real quick, though, is max protect. Now, max protect, for the most part, they're going to be able to pick up the pressure. Okay, for the most part, they're going to be able to pick up the pressure. But 
if you think about it, like for them to pick up the pressure, that's what they have to do. They have to max protect. It's a five man blitz. Like it's a five man blitz and that's how they have to pick it up. And I will be honest and tell you that it doesn't always pick up the pressure. A lot of times you still get that looping pressure that we just saw from the slot corner um, coming around the corner. So, you know, this blitz is a lot of fun. It really is. But I just think it's incredible pressure through the A-gap. As you can see right there, if they send if they send their tight end out on a route, you're coming, you're coming to very likely come right through the A gap. If you blitz your user, I will say um, it does change the the defense a little bit, and I would say it's not as consistent. So again, it's just real finicky, real simple. Pinch your linebackers, QB contain. Pinch your linebackers, QB contain, and you're going to either get the contain rush through the A gap, or you're going to get that defensive tackle uh, nano blitz, which I really really like that blitz. Um, you want to kind of keep your guy backed off ideally. Um, but as you see right here, there's a gap and edge pressure just coming completely free at the quarterback. Uh, I just, I can't tell you how much I love this blitz. This blitz is really, truly one of my favorite uh, blitzes in the entire game because of just how consistently it, it comes in, whether they block a running back or they don't block a running back, you're going to get a lot of pressure. And if they block a tight end, they're going to have to max protect to really get this blitz picked up and, you know that there we have a lot of other blitzes that we can run if they start to max protect, uh, and that's really what they want to do. Now, like I said, if you show blitz, um, one little thing that you can also do with this is you could blitz the safety. Now it becomes a six-man pressure. Now I will say um, that this is a really unique blitz angle that you're going to see that contain rush come on, as you can see right there. So the reason I wanted to show that is because that's just another layer of this. Um, this defense is really, really fun, and it's really, really glitchy, and you can sometimes create some of the most interesting blitz angles that you've ever seen in the game. So if you want to get my complete, polished, finished nickel triple defense that we're going to continue to work through and continue to update as the season goes on, there's a link in the description below. You click that link, it'll take you right over to my website where you can get the entire nickel triple defensive ebook for just 15 bucks.